Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam This is HM Tawhid Mia from hmtmcc.com uh, Today let me show you how to add a git source dependency into your Gradle project In this case uh, why it need be because of sometimes we have to add some of uh, source repository into our project so uh, it's very necessary if you uh, working on a multi project system or your project has some of uh, source dependency from other project then this tutorial will be helpful for you uh, if you work on a multi project then you know that uh, if if you want to any source code source project into our system then we have to add some of code in our uh, settings.gradle after that we have to add that uh, dependency into our uh, build.gradle now let me show you in this case uh, let's say that this is our actual project we have to add uh, this uh, this java common project as a dependency so what uh, will be the regular process if 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 i uh, do this manually then i have to clone this project and add this project into here as a project source but i am not going to do this i am going to using a uh, gr git plugin for uh, gradle and uh, for automatic uh, done this project for our project setup okay let me let me copy some of code from here first of all i am copying this uh, uh, settings gradle files uh, this section okay now i'm going to paste this to my settings or gradle uh, let me describe this uh, uh, this code snippet uh, that is here i'm i'm just uh, uh, finding out my uh, my external plugins or external source will be i'm calling this uh, uh, repository let me let me check once uh, is it external plugins i'm calling this external plugins so uh, external plugins this could be in our here and if this directory is exist then i am listing all of uh, directories from these directories and including this to uh, our project and also i'm adding the project uh, that means it that means the name of the file and it, the directory location ex plugin slash the plugin name uh, this is uh, actually uh, the gradle uh, gradle setting configuration now let me uh, let me add the build dot uh, gradle setting here first of all uh, we have to add this plugin here uh, otherwise it will not work i am here using the uh, gr git uh, if you want then you can visit this link uh, this is uh, the official link of uh, gr gr git uh, i'm adding this to my project copying this plugin and pasting here already i added uh, here i'm adding again okay let me do the next task that is uh, i am creating a list of git repository in my case i'm adding this here here you are seeing uh, actually this is the grails map uh, sorry a uh, gradle map here the map key that means i'm uh, just uh, saying the name of that project and this is the project url which will be uh, if uh, if you go here or your uh, repository then you will get this link and i'm calling this project by this name that's why my map name is uh, java common the repository is this now this is uh, the list of uh, repository i uh, will list here uh, when I uh, when I need it in uh, next cases then then I'm going to add a gradle task if you uh, are not sure about gradle cells then you may uh, search to google or in my future video I will uh, talk about uh, gradle task I'm copying this one okay now I'm going to paste here you're seeing uh, it it uh, it it uh, it has uh, uh, it has uh, some codes so let me uh, uh, describe this course in first cases actually I am doing this task as a last and this map I am iterating with each the first is name this is the name and the second is uh, URL uh, so uh, I am uh, just uh, setting the destination this is my destination okay after that uh, I am just uh, calling that uh, grgit library 
clone directory name is this and the url is this so it will automatically clone my project into this directory by this name okay if i run this action then it will be automatically clone here uh, let me do a uh, some other configuration because uh, if we add anything in our project then we will able to uh, add those project into our dependency so let me add the dependency codes here this is the dependency code i'm going to paste here in this cases uh, when uh, when any any of uh, a project which will uh, let me uh, let me paste change this code plugins actually uh, when any of uh, uh, project clone in this directory then we will uh, iterate that directory and uh, implement that as a project dependency okay now let me show here is no uh, no ex plugin directory you are seeing so now i'm going to run this task run task okay it will doing something here you are seeing that it uh, cloning the project java common and see uh, here is uh, external plugin directory created and the project is uh, cloned here so now if i uh, synchronize this project then it will be uh, added as our dependency for that i'm just clicking on this synchronize button now you are seeing the directory icon is changed so if you want then we can use that uh, functionality to our project in this case i am going to just use the uh, tm util in this case i am going to here first thing tm now you are seeing that it uh, already uh, suggesting some of method of tm util tm util dot is debug equals to true and now i i will going to print a message tm util dot print bismillah okay now i'm going to run this project then you are seeing that the bismillah project is running uh, successfully here uh, in this case uh, you may add lots of project uh, project as a dependency in your uh, multi project system uh, this will uh, uh, help you for uh, the project setup time and uh, a git repository remember time and i hope it will help you uh, thank you guys thank you for watching uh, this uh, gradle clone implementation hope it will help you guys uh, thanks again and don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel for future video thanks again and another thing is that if you want then you can uh, uh, see this uh, uh, java gradle project using intellij id which will help you to uh, uh, help you to uh, uh, understand how to create a gradle project using uh, intellij id thanks again